A whale fall is a carcass of a dead whale dropped to the bottom of the ocean. Whales die in the area as they're migrating north and south each year. Some of the dead whales, of course, wash up on our beaches. We haul them out with our ships and then weight them down with some steel, sink them at various depths. Initially, when there's still a lot of meat and tissue, there would be lots of mobile scavengers, sometimes sharks. Uh, hagfish are very common. Then there are a variety of other fish. Crabs come in, and then many, many small organisms called the amphipods. As the tissues removed, the soft tissues are removed, all you have left then are bones. And uh, the bones, of course, are hard to eat. There are no hyenas in the sea. So there are then organisms that live on the bones. Others, of course, can eat the bones, like these worms that uh, we'll talk about in a moment. These worms uh, have no mouths, no guts, and no appendages for movement. They attach themselves to a bone, and then they grow roots that invade the bone and grow down into the bone. Not many worms grow complex root systems like a tree. And within the tissues of the roots, you find bacteria appear to play a role in extracting organic compounds, probably cholesterol, other fats, and collagen, a protein, from the matrix of the bone. We know now that there are at least 17 species of Osidax that exist in the world. Uh, the first uh, two species were described from Monterey Bay in 2004, and we subsequently described a third one from Monterey Bay. But now, with this recent work, we know that there are at least 12 additional species in Monterey Bay that as yet don't have scientific names, and over the next year or two, we will be writing up uh, scientific papers to describe their characteristics, give each of them an appropriate name, and uh, this will add to the known diversity of these worms. This is Bob Vrynuk at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute.